In the last video, we added a crate feature that allowed us to actually start using our items. However, they don't disappear, and so we could heal each other forever with just one item. That's definitely not going to work, so in this video, we're going to set things up so that when you use an item, it actually disappears. Let's get started. So this time around, pretty much all the magic will be happening in your item slot script. You can scroll right on down to our on left click function. At the moment, when we click, it either selects the item or if it's already selected, tells our inventory manager to use it. What we just want to do here is add a new ot line so that this quantity minus equals one after each use. At that point, we just want to do a check to see if this quantity, and I'm using this because I'm trying to distinguish from the fact that we also have a quantity being sent in sometimes. So this just refers to the quantity on the actual slot. Now, if this quantity becomes less than or equal to zero, what we want to do now is we want to call a new function called empty slot. Now it's not going to like that, so I'm just going to double click this, right click and go to quick actions. And at this point we can actually just generate the method and it'll pop it down here. Now we can head down to our empty slot, get rid of the line that's in there, and essentially what we just want to do here is zero out the slot so that there, nothing shows on the slot or in our item description. To do this, we just want to first of all get our quantity text and we're just going to turn it off. Enabled equals false. We're also going to get our item image dot sprite and we're going to set that equal to our empty sprite. That will empty out the slot. Now we just have to empty out our descriptions as well. For this I'm going to cheat by coming up here and just copying our description lines. And we want our item description name text to be equal to nothing. We want to do the same thing for our description. And finally for our item sprite, we just want it to be the empty sprite once again. Now at this point things will mostly be working, but there's a couple of little problems. So I'm just going to pop back up to our on left click and explain those problems. So first of all, right now we're having our quantity go down by one, but not updating our text. So if you go to the very next line, we just want to make sure that quantity text.text .text is equal to this quantity. So each time it goes down, we want to make sure that we are setting our text to match whatever the quantity is. And don't forget to add to string so that it converts the number into text for us. Now the one other problem at the moment is that here we're resetting all of our data to zero, but then down lower in this method, we're setting it back to other values all over again. And that's definitely not the way we want this to go. So down here, we're just going to add an else statement and some brackets to encapsulate all of those commands. That'll just make it so that if the item selected and we're subtracting things, it does the subtraction. Otherwise, if the item is not yet selected, we do the selection and have it show up in our item description. All right, at this point now, when you get your inventory, you can click to select the item, click again to use it, and you'll notice it goes down each time. And when we get to zero, the item disappears, as does our description. All right, that's working pretty nicely. At this point, we're just gonna pop back into our item slot one last time because what happens if your health is full? We don't want us to be able to waste items trying to heal someone who's already full. So we're just going to add a check here to see if the item is actually in a usable state or not. To do this, we'll just head into our this item selected where we actually use the item. Now here, rather than just automatically using the item at this point, I'm going to create a bool called usable, which is going to be equal to inventory manager use item. And essentially what we're going to do is just follow this through and do a check to see whether or not you need to use the item. And if not, we'll disable it. So I'm just going to click on use item and go to that declaration. That'll take me right into my inventory manager where the use item method is. We're just going to make this into a bool now as it's going to return a true or false statement. And down here, we're also going to add the bool usable is equal to item so use item. So again, when we use the item, it'll check to see if it's needed and return that value. Now down here, I'm just going to return usable. So once we have found out whether or not it's usable, we'll send that information back. And if for some reason this for statement is unable to find any items that match, we also want to make usable be false. And so in that case, we would add a return line here that would just be false. All right, now we just need to go one step further. So let's click on this one and go to declaration. 
All right, now I'm going to start off with a little bit of setup here, and this is really just to show you how this could work. You might set things up a little differently yourself. But for myself, what I want to just do here is create a reference to my player's health script. So I'll go player health. We'll call it player health, and it's just going to be equal to, and I'm going to borrow this line from down here. This will just keep me from having to constantly search for the health manager every time I want to reference it. I can now clean up this line so that I simply say player health dot restore health. Now the only thing is before I go restoring that health, I want to check to see whether or not I need to. So I'm just going to go to this line here and make an if statement. So we'll go if player health dot health is equal to player health dot max health, then we want something to happen. Oh, don't forget that your double equals. And essentially all we're doing here is we're just checking to see if we're already at full. Now if our player is already at full, then we're just going to return false. So that will just say, well, we can't use the item. However, if we are able to, if that's not true, we'll come down here and we'll go else. Then we want to restore the player's health and we want to return true. Now at this point, you're still going to be getting an error message up here because if, for example, it was an item that wasn't health, there would be no return value going on here. So in which case, I'm just going to step out of here and add a return false. Though that situation should never happen at this point, that just covers all of our basis. No matter what, a value will be returned for this pool. Now back in my item slot, just to recap, what I've done here now is when I use click the item, it's going to ask the inventory manager to use the item, but it's also going to ask whether or not the item is usable. The manager will then check with the, invent the item scriptable object and send back a message, either true or false. If it's true, we can use it. If it's false, we cannot. Now at this point, we just want to make sure that we are only subtracting a quantity if it was usable. So we'll go if usable. You could say equals true, but I always prefer to do less work if I don't have to. So we'll just say if usable. I'll put my brackets, and at this point, we want to do the rest of this function. There we go. So if the item was indeed usable, we'll subtract one, update the text, and then empty out the slot if needed. Getting back into Unity, I'm noticing that I am getting an error message from my inventory manager. So I'll just double click that to follow. And sure enough, I just made a mistake here. My return false was within the for statement, so it won't return a value if it doesn't enter the for statement. So I'm just going to come down below that, put my return false there, and that should deal with that. All right, we're now in a situation that you'll notice my health is at 16 out of 20. When I go to my inventory here, I can right click on the item to use it. My health is going up. It goes up again. However, now that my health is full, when I right click, nothing happens. Excellent. That's working great. The next and perhaps final thing we're going to add to this is just the ability to right click items in order to drop them back onto the map. We'll add that in the next video though. And if there's anything else you'd like to see in this series before I wrap it up, please do be sure to chime in in the comments. Till next time, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.